Oh hi, I didn't see you walk in there. Did you know it is Monday? And Garfield hates Mondays, but it's whatever. It's your boy, Frank Jab Sizzle here, gonna make you some lasagna for dinner. What you're gonna need is some lasagna, some some chili, some cheese, some more cheese, some even more cheese, and some spinach. So let's get to cooking. Now to make this enjoyable for the both of us, I'm gonna be drinking this Italian wine. Hmm. That's a spicy meatball. So what you're gonna wanna do is preset your oven fuck <laughs> to this much and just let it cook. So while that's setting up, we're gonna go boil some raviolis. I mean lasagna. So first what you're gonna wanna do is get a big pot of water so you could boil your um, lasagna. So have you guys been? I've been alright. I've been reading anonymous comments about me on 4chan saying that they, they hate my cooking videos because I, I'm being too ironic and nobody knows if I'm being serious or if I'm joking anymore. And you know what's fun about that is I even don't know what's going on anymore. Oh yeah. So next I'm gonna fill up this other pan with water. If you don't have a steamer, that's totally fine. You can just put your spinach in the microwave and then you put the top stuff on top of it and wait for the water to boil. Just waiting for the water to boil. My life is a lie, children. So now that the water is boiling, we're gonna put our baby spinach into uh, the, the steamer. So you just, you just grab a bunch. Put it in there. Fuck! I dropped some inside the fire. But that's okay. Yeah, you just you just pack it all in there like that. Good spinach. And then you put a thing on it. So now that your water is bubbly, what you gotta do is you gotta slide your uh, lasagna into the bubbling water so that it gets super wiggly. I like lasagna when it is nice and wiggly, yeah. It's an Italian thing that tastes just like pizza. So now that all your lasagna is in there, you cover it up and then leave it in there to, you know, get wiggly. And in the meantime, I'm gonna drink more of this fermented grape uh, water that's old dead grapes. Remember, this stuff kills your brain cells, but also ignorance is bliss and I'd rather be happy. Look at that spinach. It's super, um... Now, you take your steamed spinach to the sink, and then you just, like, put it here. And now what you gotta do is you gotta let your spinach cool off because it's, like, fucking hot right now and you don't wanna burn yourself. So what you're gonna wanna do is you get a cutting board, then you get uh, some paper towels and you put them on the cutting board. And then you're gonna wanna take the spinach out because it's still all hot and stuff. And then using fancy tongs, you get it out, and then you put it on here because you're gonna wanna dry it out a bit. Cause you don't want no wet ass spinach in your lasagna, it's just nasty. Look at that dank green, and then you put it on top, and then you like... That actually burns my hand. Have you guys ever seen Troll 2? It looks like Troll 2, but not Troll 2. And now that the thing is kind of dried, you put it out on a cutting board, and then you chop it up into even smaller little pieces. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe, share. No one's done any good Rule 34 of me yet. There's been a couple drawings, but it's never really like anatomically accurate. So now that you chopped up the um, this baby spinach, you put it into a... Next, what you're gonna wanna do is get a chicken ovary and just like smash that shit open and then pour that whole shit into the thing. Next, you open up this thing of ricotta cheese, like so. And then next you're gonna need uh, three cups of mozzarella cheese. One, two, three. And you're gonna need a three-fourths cup of Parmesan cheese, which is my fifth favorite cheese in the cheese family. What's your favorite cheese? Put it in the comment section below, because I literally have nothing better to do than to read all your comments. So now that we have all those ingredients together, you just mix it together like so. So 
So now that the pasta is all super cooked al dente style, just the way I like it, what you're gonna need to do is pour the steaming hot mess into this thing right here. Look, that's me. Have have you seen um? Ha, have you seen um? So now that this is all dry and stuff, you take it out, get a tin or whatever you put in your oven, and then you open up this and you pour a little layer on the bottom. Oh yeah. Now you just. Next, what you're gonna want is you get your uh, your uh, lasagna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make lasagna rolls. Cause fuck regular lasagna. And you put a little bit of this stuff on it, like that. And then you spread it like you're spreading butter on toast. But instead of butter, it's like this weird cheese uh, spinach thing. Using very fine rolling techniques, you you roll up you roll up that grass, r r roll up the, gr and then after you have a roll, you put it in there like this. And now we need to do like twelve of them. So now that we have the rolls, you put the sauce on top of the rolls. Uh, uh. And now sprinkle the rest of the mozzarella cheese on top of the rolls. And now we put our entire thing into the oven for 28 minutes. Sure. Oh, would you look at that? The lasagna's done. So now you take out your lasagna. Fine. Take out your lasagna and you put it right here and you let it cool down for a bit. Look at that beautiful lasagna. So thank you for watching and I'll probably put some music thing at the end like I normally do.